Thank you. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate the life of Tyler Herndon and to support his family. Being us, having us all together here today for this celebration is just another gift that Tyler left for us. When I look around, I think about all of us sharing time together, sharing a meal, having conversations. It's almost like a reunion. We've told stories, seen people we hadn't seen in a long time, and that's a gift. That's a gift that Tyler gave us. When you leave here today, I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. Um, go home and, and Google Tyler Herndon. Look at the stories that you'll see. There's going to be a lot of stories on there, obviously, about uh, uh, our tragic loss. But go, go through those, but I want you to look at some of those other stories. You'll see some stories about him helping people. You'll see some stories about him with a group of kids at Ida Rankin Elementary School. He'll be walking through a, a parking lot uh, with, uh, with one of his co-workers greeting people. Just not doing anything, just greeting people. Look at him and, and look at him while he's walking through that parking lot, how, how squared away he is in that uniform. Good looking man, proud, proud uh, representative of the Mount Holly Police Department. These are the stories I want you to remember. Because of these stories, I'm a better man because of Tyler Herndon. The city of Mount Holly is a better place because of Tyler Herndon. The Mount Holly Police Department is a better place because of Tyler Herndon. We're a better community because we had him for two years. In those two short years that we had him, the things that he accomplished have earned him a spot in the history of law enforcement, in the history of Mount Holly, definitely in the history of the Mount Holly Police Department. He will, for, he will forever be remembered for the way he lived. If there's ever a question about whether someone's life mattered, look around. You guys drove in here, you saw the outpouring of love and respect and honor. I think you've got your answer for Tyler Herndon. We all know that answer. We all know that each one of us can be called home at any time. Because Tyler chose to be a police officer, when he was called to leave us to go be with the Lord, he, he didn't leave alone. He was in the company of family. I know he enjoyed spending time Friday with his law enforcement family. I know he had fun and enjoyed spending time with Austin, Travis. Haley and Ray, you know that he wanted to be there. He enjoyed his time spending time with that family. As we celebrate Tyler's life, I want you to ask you to also remember the family that loaned him to us, his dad, Mark, mom, Debbie, sister, Lindsay, and girlfriend, Haley. We appreciate that. Thank you for loaning him to us. It means the world to us. Our law enforcement family is grieving. We're all grieving as a community. The Mount Holly Police Department is grieving also. I was talking to Tyler's captain yesterday, I think it was. We were talking about how hard everyone's working, trying to make sure we carry on uh, the work that Tyler knew was so important, that work of protecting and serving the city of Mount Holly. We talked about, you know, hey, we need to make sure that we get them help and, and get them some relief because we know they're tired. He pointed something out to me, Captain did. He said, you know, if it would have been another officer that had given his life that day, Tyler would have been the first one to step up. He would have been there early and it worked late. He'd have been the last one to leave. We'd have to make him go home. When he came here today to that other officer's funeral, had it been someone else, his uniform would be squared away. 
He would stand at attention just maybe a little bit quicker than, than another guy, maybe. His salute would be just maybe just a little bit sharper than, than the next guy. Shoes maybe shine just a little bit better than mine are. Badge would be just a little bit shinier. That's, that's just the way he is. Looked like he came out of a recruiting poster, but that's because of the pride he had. The pride in his chosen profession and the pride to serve in this noble profession. He was always available to help, and he would have been the first one to help during this time if he were still here. And the reason he would have done that because he knew that if not him, who else? Who else would we call? That attitude of service that Tyler lived reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses. Isaiah 6, chapter 6, verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. That's Tyler. Godspeed, Adam 223. Thank you for your service.